What's good everybody? It's your boy Nate Matthews and I'm back again with another beard video, man. Today is December 11, 2015. We cut the beard off September 4th, 2015. So it's been exactly 14 weeks since the beard growth. This is how it's looking right now. As you guys can see, the size is looking good. The other side looking good. And the mustache looking good. I think for once it looks like perfectly even. Or maybe not, maybe not, maybe we got some errors in the side, but that's all good though. But anyways, this week's video is about staying strong. Have you ever been told or has someone ever told you or pressured you to cut your beard off? That is what's going on today. So I just got a message from somebody who sees my, watches my YouTube videos, right? They added me on Facebook. Um, they messaged me today and told me pretty much like, man, I'm no longer a part of the beer gang. My wife told me to cut it. She said I look like a Muslim or whatever, so I just had to cut it. Um, and I was just like, damn, man. I'm sure you guys the message right here, too. But, um, yeah, my bad. My phone going off. But, um, yeah, man, it's not the first time that's happened. That's also happened to me before, too. Um, I, I tried to stay strong for a little while, ended up cutting it. But it was also from pressure and from it being harder to maintain. Um, when I met my girlfriend, I had a beard. It was pretty long and she didn't say nothing. I guess I guess she wanted to wait until she got comfortable. So she waited till we'd been together for a couple months and then finally just came out and told me, you know, I, I really hate your beard. Please cut it off. She used to just beg me, please just cut your beard off. Like I really don't like it. But I never felt the need to cut it because look, you met me when I had a beard, ain't nothing changed. Like I'm keeping it. But as you guys can see, or maybe you don't know, but it used to be back down here. I did cut it and now I'm starting it over. Um my girlfriend, my mom, and I think my grandma were the ones, the main ones telling me, like, what are you doing? What is, you know, and my dad. I can't forget my dad. I think he, he was just hating, though, because his beard has always been like the way mine is right now. His beard has always been like this. Um, but I guess he can't grow it any longer than this because of where he works at. They get on him about it or whatever. So when I started going, growing my beard and growing past his, he's just be like, man, you, you can't be doing that, man. The people at work ain't going to like that. And I'm just like, they don't be saying nothing. But uh, so I'm keeping it. So every time you used to see me or call me, did you shave off that beard yet? You need to shave it, man. They probably saying something about you. I don't know. They don't like that. Uh, you can't be working in there and blah, blah, blah. So anyways, um, I know I'm not the only one. One time when I was in the store, this, this gentleman, he's about like 65 years old. I was in a store um, working and he was a customer just walking around. Then he just stops and stares at me and I'm just staring at him back like, uh, you need some help? Like, can I show you something? You know, you what's, what's going on? So he's just like, oh, my bad, man. I'm just, I'm admiring your beard. I really like it. And then he just says, you know what? Let me show you something. Pulls out his wallet. I think it's an old people thing. They always want to carry old pictures of themselves um, <laughs> from when they're younger or whatever. So he pulls out his wallet, starts showing me a whole bunch of pictures from when he was younger, like 20, 30, or 40, I guess, um, when he had a super long beard. Um, at the time I see him in the store, his beard was kind of like this or maybe just a bit lower. All white, by the way. So he's, I, I guess, OG from the pictures he showed me. So pretty much he started saying, man, I wish I would have never cut it. And, you know, my wife told me to cut it and everything like that. So I did it. But then, and then he slammed his hand on the desk. But let me tell you this. Don't shave your beard until you're ready to cut it off. And that pumped me up because, you know, I, I went right home as soon as I got off work. I said, you know what? I met this older guy and he told me never let a woman tell you to cut your beard off if you ain't ready. So I am never cutting it off. And she was just like, why not? You know, please. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> so I ended up keeping it for a couple more months. Um, but I did end up cutting it from that pressure. But also because around this time, I wasn't using um, oils and stuff in my beard to maintain it. I was just combing it all the time. But combing it when it was dry and things like that, I would always see hair and stuff in the sink. So it was just it was just crazy, you know. Um, the beard wasn't growing the way I wanted to grow it. I wanted it to grow because of the products that I was not using in it. So anyways, now that I'm doing a lot better, I've started over. I'm using the right products. I've I've done all my trials and stuff like that. I've tested out different clippers. I know which way works for me. I know how to maintain the beard before. It used to always take me a long time to do like line up the back and you know the sides. I mean, line up the sides because when it was growing, like I really couldn't tell where it was before. So it's like I always used to have to try to 
you know, be cockeyed or whatever, looking in the mirror like this, like, and it used to just hurt my eyes. It was just real hard. So now with the steady schedule, the way since my beard grows so dark, my bad, you guys can't really see it because the the lighting in the room. Sorry about that. But because my beard grows so dark, the new growth is is easy to spot because it doesn't really blend in. It's pretty light. It takes a while for it to get dark again like the rest of my face. So if you stay on a steady schedule, you can actually see the new growth and you can cut it easy. So it's again a lot easier for me to cut it now. It's not so much of a of a job to do it. Um, so I just do it. But um, yeah, I don't want to ramble on too much. This this video is just a quick video, unplanned. Pretty much, I just want to know if you guys have ever been told to cut your beard. Did you give in to the women? Most likely, uh, I'm 99% sure it's the women in your life that made you cut it if you did cut it or could be a new job or something like that. Um, but did you cut it? Or will you cut it if nobody's ever said nothing to you? If they ask you to cut it, if your wife, your girlfriend asks you to cut it, are you going to cut your beard or are you going to stay strong for the beard game? Make it happen, guys, man. You got to keep it, keep the beard game strong. Keep it up. And yeah, that's pretty much it on this video. If you guys found this video helpful in any way, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the page if you're not already subscribed. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.